Hey gang, today I'm going to be reviewing this Donner DLP-124 in a kind of cool surf green. It's obviously in a Les Paul Jr. style body, but with two humbucking pickups. It's kind of like the Epiphone Les Paul special guitar. So they're clearly going for that beginner guitar market for people who don't want a Strat or a Tele. Before we get to the review, I wanted to tell you that I'll be launching a member site coming up on March 9, right away. I'll be teaching songs, theory, technique, and tone, including gear review and how to get proper tone with your fingers as well. If you like my YouTube channel, you're gonna love the member site because it's like YouTube, but a lot more. And I'm doing some promotionals leading up to that, including special pricing, but also a guitar giveaway where this is one of the guitars you can choose from. If you wanna see some of the other guitars that you can choose from, I've put them in links to the description, along with a link that you can sign up for the promotional offers from. So if you're interested, please check it out below and click on any of those links, sign up for the promotionals. Okay, let's get on with the review of this Donner guitar. Now I have to say for $169, this guitar looks pretty amazing. I love the surf green color and the sort of retro look to the headstock. It's pretty cool. It looks actually better than it did on Amazon, but looks can be kind of deceiving sometimes. So we'll cover lots of stuff. I'll cover the specs. I'll cover the good and the bad, and maybe the ugly, and then we'll do some sounds as well. So make sure you stick around to hear all the sounds of this guitar. Okay, let's start out with the ugly. The Ugly had everything to do with the packaging and the delivery of this guitar. Now the UPS person left it on the driveway in the snow, never a good thing. The guitar did come in a giant box. The outer box was giant and it had almost no packing material. So as I brought the guitar to the room and inside the door into my room, I could feel it bumping the sides. You know that happened a lot in transit, so I was kind of concerned that it would be damaged. After that, it started to get better. The inner box was high quality box, hadn't been used before, it was in really good shape. And when I opened that up, there was a gig bag and it actually had a little bit of padding. Shocked the heck out of me. It's better than I thought it would be. Inside of the gig bag was the guitar and the guitar was actually treated pretty well. Fretboard was covered and the toggle switch had some styrofoam around it. So that was kept intact as well. So Donner, please just put a little more packing material into that out into that box and I think everybody would be happy with this and you'd avoid a lot of damage in transit. All right, let's do a quick rundown of the specs. Now the most important spec for many of you will be the $169.99 price tag on this. For that you also get not only the guitar but a gig bag, a guitar strap and a guitar cord. The gig bag and the guitar cord are pretty decent quality. So if the guitar is pretty decent quality, it's a bargain. So let me cut to the chase on this. I think this guitar is pretty decent quality. I think the build on it is not bad. We'll get to the sounds in just a minute. Compared to some of the guitars I played recently, the cheaper guitars I played recently where, man, they just didn't play out of the box, this does. The neck feels good, it's a nice satin finish. The rest of the finish on the body feels good. It's decently balanced. It's just a tiny, tiny bit neck heavy, but not bad at all. And I think it looks great. So all in all, it's not bad. If you like the sound of it at the end, it's a pretty good bargain for you, I think. All right, but let's talk about what the specs are so you'll also understand whether you'll like it or not. Okay, let's start out with the obvious stuff. We've got a Gibson Les Paul Jr. style body. This is made out of basswood, so it's a fairly light body, about six pounds, I would say. We've got two humbucker style pickups. We've got a tunematic bridge. We've got a stop tailpiece, three-way toggle switch, witch hat knobs. We've got a tone and a volume on that. And they all, they feel really smooth actually. And check out that natural binding on there. Isn't that cool looking? And I think it's done pretty well too. I checked around the whole thing. It looks pretty good. All right, let's talk a little bit about the neck. We've got a Canadian maple bolt on neck. There we go, there's that scarf joint right there. And the fretboard is Indian Laurel. It has 22 frets, so it's all standard Gibson. 
and it is a 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length, 14 inch radius, so it's a little bit flatter than a Gibson, which is 12 inch radius. The one thing I would say that I didn't like were the fret ends. A lot of people, that's a big concern for them. I'll tell you, it just is not a concern at all for me on an inexpensive guitar. Here's why. I get myself one of these, which is a foam sanding block, and I just go on the fret edges three minutes and I'm done. It's as smooth as any guitar that I play. Now, do I do this with my expensive guitars? No, I'd be much more careful, but with an inexpensive guitar, I can do that and it just, it fixes the problem. All right, let's talk for the rest of this. Let's talk about the tuners and the headstock. I just love this headstock design. I think it's really cool. And I think the Donner logo on there looks really neat as well. Really fits the retro vibe of this guitar and this color. The tuners are it's kind of standard looking Gibson, except they are Donner branded, which probably means they're generic. They're relatively smooth though, and so I don't mind them at all. Seems to hold tuned pretty well. We've got a plastic nut there, all pretty standard stuff. Let's check out the sounds. All right, let's do a few sound demos now. I'm gonna start out with the clean, and I'm just gonna be playing directly through my Blackstar HT5. No post-processing, no pedals. <laughs> Right, now we're going to do some dirty sounds. I'm just going to use the lead channel on this with a moderate amount of gain and the guitar. Again, no post-processing, no pedals. Let's take stock of everything here. We've got what I think is a really nice looking guitar. It plays great. The neck on this really feels good. It's relatively light. It was set up fantastically, so I didn't have to do anything on this to play it, and it already plays well. All those are really pluses, the $169. The padded gig bag's a plus. The nice guitar cord is even a little plus. 
So that's all good. If you can get past the what I thought was a horror show of a delivery, this was all a really good experience. All right, so if you have a beginner or if you're just looking for a beater guitar to take on the road or just have fun with or whatever, maybe even to modify, I think it's mostly for beginners, but if you're looking for something to modify, this may be a, a nice little purchase for you. All right, until next time, we'll see you on down the road.